my beautiful choppers. How are you guys today? Thank you for joining me for another official edition of You're in the Cut with Chopped It Up. All right, y'all. That's like a really, you know, upbeat song. But I have a kind of, you know, downtrodden type of story to bring y'all today, honey child. It's about um, a missing eight-year-old girl from Emmett, Idaho. Okay. Her name is Taryn Summers. Now, this last past couple of days, the um, grandmother went to police that this little eight-year-old girl was a runaway and that she was missing. So, you know, the authorities are doing their checks around the home of where um, the grandmother lived. And on April 14th, now, they found a spot of blood on the girl's bedroom wall. Goodness. And then from there, the investigators were led to a Lexus parked in front of the house that was registered to... This woman, the grandmother, and her name is Connie Ann Smith. Now, they are searching the property, and in the back seat of the Lexus, yes, child, they found what they believe to be the body of the missing eight year old girl from Emmett, Idaho, in the Lexus, in the back seat of her grandmother's car. They believe that Taryn Summers, that's the little girl's name, um, is in that trash bag. The identity of the body was not officially released yet, and it was labeled with the initials TS in the court documents. The, it, the news outlet, however, was told by the sheriff's office that, um, that it is the body of the little girl, y'all. Now, she was reported missing from her home along Airport Road. And the court document said that Smith told the um, county sheriff's office on the day that Summers, like, disappeared, um, that she ran away. She ain't run away. That the grandma done did something to the girl. Okay. Not only did they find the body in the trash bag, um, the investigators also said that they found vomit that was smeared on the shirt and on the hair of the corpse. Can y'all believe that? So they charged Smith, the grandmother, with um, felony failure to notify of a death and destruction of evidence. So I wonder what kind of evidence that she actually destroyed. Well, everything, because she cleaned up the blood and all that from this alleged murder of her granddaughter, okay? She was booked inside the um, Ada County Jail on a charge of first-degree murder, but she is right now currently not facing any murder charges. So I, I don't understand what they're doing there. But the they were asking the judge to set the bail, her bail, at a million dollars, um because they believe she was a she's a flight risk. I don't know why, maybe because she has ties to the community and people that could help her, you know, or assist in her fleeing. But um the judge wound up lowering the bail um for this 54-year-old woman to 800,000 and the judge's name is Tyler Smith. And that's it. And they want her to um, have a GPS location monitor, but we don't know. But the kicker to this story is, y'all, that the little girl, Tyron, now she also has two other um, relatives that are missing, okay? Now, that's too much of a coincidence for me. One is 17-year-old Tristan Connor Sexton, and the other is the 14-year-old Taylor Summers, and they were last seen in Emmett on separate dates, okay? And this is the grandmother, so if she killed one, she probably killed them all. Anyway, y'all can get some more information from KATU 
Tifei. Then Connor Sexton, who's 17, he was last seen in Emmett on like around September 10th of 2020. He is five foot seven inches, 185 pounds, with red hair and blue eyes, and they say he may be wearing glasses. And the other one, Taylor Summer, she is 14. She was last seen in Emmett on October 19th. So this is a month apart from each other. They are saying that she is 5 foot 3 inches, 135 pounds, and has brown hair and brown eyes. Mm, mm, mm. That is so sad. So if you guys have any information, please... 208-365-3521. Once again, these two missing endangered teenagers were last spotted near Airport Road in Idaho. All right, guys, please leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about this unfortunate, uh, just egregious act that this grandmother did to her grandchild and probably the other two relatives as well. Let's, you know, hope and pray that she gets her just dessert. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you already are not a chopper to my channel. And have a great day. Thank you for joining me for In the Cut with Chop It Up. I'll see y'all around for something. Bye, babies.